Sentencing phase is underway for the driver of a truck that killed 13 elderly members of a New Braunfels church last year. The Uvalde County judge listened to witnesses and experts describe the scene all morning and afternoon. KXAN's Lauren Landman was in the courtroom to hear the discussion. She joins us live from the Uvalde County Courthouse. Lauren? Yeah, that's right. This is just day one of what could last multiple days here in Uvalde. Back in May, Young pleaded no contest to 13 charges of intoxication, manslaughter, and one count of intoxication assault, ultimately waiving his right to a jury trial. Crash experts and investigators spent hours this morning describing the crash and going through Jack Young's phone records. In text messages, Young talks with friends almost every day in the month leading to the crash and on the day of the crash about drugs, mostly marijuana, but he also mentions prescription drugs. He would describe where to get them, how much he has to sell, and how much he was smoking at the time. At the crash scene, investigators found marijuana in Young's car along with prescription medication. A blood test after the crash revealed Young did have traces of THC or marijuana in his system at the time of the crash. A toxicology expert who took the stand said his results show he had recently smoked marijuana in the two to three hours prior to the crash. Prosecution also introduced us to a woman who says Young crashed into her back in 2015. She says he didn't receive any kind of consequences then and deserves to now. Witnesses will take the stand again tomorrow morning starting at 9. Reporting live in Uvalde, Lauren Landman, KXAN News.